Hey everyone! So today I want to show you how to make double-sided business cards using your Silhouette Cameo machine and Silhouette Studio software. Just a quick side note, I'm using the business edition which allows me to import SVG files as well. So without wasting any time, let's jump right in. First, we're going to start in Illustrator where I've designed these cards. You can use the same approach with your Canva business cards as well. And if you like a more in-depth tutorial on that, let me know and I'd be happy to make one. If you're doing this in Canva, simply export your design as a PNG and make sure that the bleed option is turned down. You can do this by clicking on File, Settings and Show Bleed and exporting it that way. The PNG will be slightly larger, but that's exactly what we want since we'll define the business card size using the cut line afterwards. To start, I already have my designs ready, including both my design layer and my cut layer. I created my cut layer in Illustrator because I couldn't find a way to round the edges inside of Silhouette Studio and I wanted my business cards to have rounded edges. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the cut lines in our layers tab and export both the front and back designs as PNGs. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on file, export, export as, we're going to use PNG, use artboards and select all, and then click on export. We're going to use the highest resolution, so 300 PPI and the background color on white. So we're going to click on okay. After saving those, I will then reverse it and save the cut line as an SVG. So we're going to hide the layer and just select the cut line. I simply do this by clicking the right side, um, click to collect for export a single asset. Um, I'm going to rename it to cut line, uh, select SVG in the drop down and select export. Um, and select export. So we're going to choose that. However, if you're using a standard rectangle without rounded edges, you can create the cut line directly in Silhouette Studio. Next, we'll open the Silhouette Studio uh, and wait for it to load. I'll open a new document and set up the file as needed. I'll be using a standard cutting mat with an A4 paper size. What I'm going to do is I'm also going to turn on the registration marks. So enable registration marks on the side panel and just set the ink set in inset to 10. I usually uh, put the inset just a bit lower just so I can have more space to work with. And now comes the tedious part. What first we'll import the back of the business card and also the SVG file that we exported from Illustrator. Since I've already set the correct measurements inside of the program, the process is pretty straightforward, placing the cut line on top. I just need to make sure that the cut line, so the SVG file in this case, is set to appropriate measurements. I will be using 55 by 85, but you can resize this and make adjustments. The important part is that the cut line is a bit smaller than the business card. Uh, so now we have to do, and we have to layer them correctly, you have to make sure that the cut line is placed on top just so you can see it and then just select both of them and center align it uh, both vertically and horizontally so we click on that and on that if you're using a standard rectangle what you can do is you can just insert a custom shape you can click on shapes select a rectangle and then just draw it out uh, and then from here you can also select an appropriate size. And do the same thing here, just place it on the top, just place it on the top and center align it as we did. Now that we have, so I'm going to delete that since I do have rounded edges. So now what we have to do is we have to make the same thing. We have to make the same thing for the front of the, uh, of the business card. So we select the cut line just place it on top of the business cards make sure that it's in the front so we can see it and then just select both and align it now that our first two cards are ready we're going to go to the send panel and ensure that the cut line is selected for cutting so what you're probably going to end up with is you're going to end up with this. So basically four red rectangles on our design. What we have to do is ignore the line of the business card. So we're just going to select an image and click on ignore selected lines. Uh, and we're going to repeat that for the front of the business cards as well. Uh, so now we are left off with two 
with two cut lines, which are only the cut lines that we have defined, which is the inner edge of our business cards. This is actually going to be an edge that's going to be cut. We need to have a little bit of bleed uh, happening on our business cards. Now that we have that, we go back to the design panel. And what we're going to do, since we are using a color rectangle just to make our design a bit just to make our design part a bit easier so now we'll change the color of the selected svg or a rectangle so it doesn't print so it doesn't print because we don't want a bold pink line showing up on the design uh, so here we're just going to click on the cut line and set it to transparent and repeat that for this one as well it's hard to click it and transparent now that the pink line is removed, we're going to do and we're going to select the whole image and just group it together. Uh, so just clicking the right click and select group and we're going to do the same for this size as well. And we're going to group it. We're going to select both groups and just horizontally align it. Uh, so in the middle. And we're going to group those two as well. So now we have a group inside of a group. So now that we have that, I like to just center align the group like that. And I'm going to just push it a bit above. And now we duplicate the groups. So um, I'll just so now that the group is center aligned, did we do we duplicate them across the page. Using this method, I can I can fit six business cards per page. After arranging everything, I will select all three groups, so essentially all six business cards. Just space them evenly, space vertically, and then uh, again, just center align it to the page. Uh, if you want to be sure, just group them together and then click on center to the page, which will adjust it just a tiny bit. Do a lot of alignments just because I really want to make sure that everything is aligned properly. Uh, because if the in case a setup got misaligned, the whole the whole print is off. So as you can see, I use a slightly different method for printing business cards. Instead of printing the front page first and then the back, I use the same layout for both sides. Uh, for both sides, this makes it easier and more more foolproof. After printing one side, I simply flip the page and print the exact same design again. This way, everything remains perfectly aligned without manual adjustments. Once that's done, we go to the Send tab uh, just to double check that everything is selected correctly. So you have to have six rectangles that show the cut lines. And if we're happy with that, we go to Design, we go to File, Print, and then just select our printer. I would recommend making a test print on both sides just to see if everything aligns perfectly uh, and after you're ready to make a final product choose a high quality photo paper setting. I use a 300 GSM double sided matte photo paper to ensure that my business cards look professional uh, and then send it to print. Since I am printing in black my printer takes a bit longer but once it's done I flip the paper and repeat the process. Now, and now that that is done, we finally move on to cutting, which you're probably already familiar with. So place the printed sheet onto the cutting mat and select an appropriate setting. You go on send. Uh, I use cardstock and let the silhouette cameo do the cutting. Once the cut is complete, simply remove the business cards from the mat. And voila, now you have a perfect double-sided business card ready to go. I hope this tutorial was helpful. It took me some trial and error to figure this out and I'm happy to share it with you. If you have any questions or run into any problems, feel free to ask and I or someone else will be happy to help. I hope to see you soon and until next time, stay curious.